Over the past two months, all of us have been touched by the extraordinary strength and resilience of the Japanese people, and they continue to inspire us. We are honored to have the Japanese ambassador to the United States speak to us today. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Ichiro Fujisaki. Congratulations to class of 2011 and the family members. Thank you very much, uh, Northeastern University, for having me here today to recognize the Japanese people. As you all know, on 3-11 this year, we had huge tragedy. The biggest earthquake, the tallest tsunami, and the most serious nuclear accident. Three things at the same time. No people have experienced that ever before. The struggle is continuing. However, we are helped by being able to have three convictions. One, as you know, Japanese people were dignified, resilient, helped each other. That is why I am here today to be recognized as a representative of Japanese people. Second conviction is that we were supported by people around the world, especially you Americans. Your experts, government officials, worked day and night with us, 20,000 American military men and women were deployed for search and rescue and transporting basic human needs. Big companies have extended donations and people around the country from all states have sent us cards, contributions, thousand cranes from kids as well. It's so cute. Some kids gave up their birthday gift and sent us bills of $20, $50. It was so moving. Third conviction is that because of this Japanese people's resilience and support from United States and people around the world, we are convinced that we will come back. We will come back strongly. <laughs> so please do not hesitate to visit us in Japan. But uh, we are in difficult times, and it means a lot to us that American people stood for us, stood by us. We will long remember this. We will never forget this. And from the bottom of our heart, we'll say thank you, arigato. Now that you are leaving school, some people may go to graduate school, some people might start working. 
someone who has left uh, school 40 years ago. I would like to give some advice. In the school, I think you were told to try to get A's. And I don't know how many A's you get in 16 years, but being here, I think you've got a lot. But if you leave the school, I'm sorry, teachers, but try to forget about getting A's. Try to get B's. The first B is bond. In school, at classroom, if you raise your hand, teacher will give you an opportunity to speak. That does not happen in the real world. You have to be invited to the place which is not open to everyone. And in order to speak, you have to acquire respect from other people in advance. That means that you have to know people. That is the bond with others. Try to always think that the real society, of course, you have to be smart as well, but what is important is the human relation bond. Second B is balance. At school, if you're careful, a math test and history exam would not come at the same time. Not in real life. Everything could come at the same time. And you can't scream that I can't take it. Of course you can. And if you do that, you will never be looked upon by others. People will never come to you. You have to always try to manage the time, balance things, and try to balance the priority. That is the important thing in the real life. That's the second B. Third B is briefness or brevity. You can write a long thesis, papers, and maybe because of length, that could be respected at school, not in real life. People will expect you to speak less than three minutes. I'm going on a little more than that, but. <laughs> <laughs> and papers have to be very short, concise as well. At, when I was seconded to an institute, academic institute. I was asked to write Japan-Russia relations or something in 100 pages, and I was at a loss because in my work, everything had to be done in two or three pages. U.S. economy in next decade, or uh, China-U.S. relations in next uh, 20 years or whatever, everything has to be in two or three pages. That brevity is very important in your life, so please uh, remember that as well. I can go on to courage, C, or dignity, D, or entrepreneurship, E, but uh, if I go on too long, I will breach my third B of brevity, so I will not go on. But many good things are waiting for you in life. Life is good. So, <laughs> congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.